What's up guys, Max here and welcome back to my dungeon. Today I'm going to do a VRM test of this motherboard, the MSI B450 MA Pro Max. This is a budget motherboard, I think I paid like 60 euros, so around $70 or something, you can find it more or less at the same price now. And only just 10 days ago, I realized that MSI released a beta version of the BIOS for this motherboard. So I started testing the CPU I have here, so the 5600X, 5800X and 5950X. All the CPU tested was boosting as they should, everything was fine, so I did some games, application, and well, now it's time to test the VRAM if this motherboard can support effectively all the CPU mentioned, since a thing is that they can run on this motherboard, but another thing is that it can run safely uh, on this motherboard with no throttling or no issue. This motherboard is one of my favorite, since it's one of the cheapest choice around, but you can run and overclock the memory like uh, one of the top uh, motherboards you can find out there, so you can easily reach the limit of the fabric of your CPU. So 3800 MHz is uh, an easy task with this motherboard, plus the VRM, the voltage regulator section of this motherboard, is quite good. Uh, you can even overclock uh, the non-X uh, CPU easily and if you do a proper job, this motherboard will be the perfect companion for a budget build for gaming or even application with an 8 or 6 core CPU. But now it's time to show you with a thermal image camera what is going on inside there if we stress the CPU with Blender. All right, so let's check it with this thermal camera. I don't know if you can see it, but um, we have around uh, 63 degrees, 64. And uh, well, it's about 10 minutes that I'm running the test. So the temp is um, almost stabilized. So yeah, 64 degrees and it's pretty nice since everything as you can see here is pretty cool the only VRM section is for the CPU that is stressed inductors and everything are yes around 60 between 60 and 65 degrees so with this configuration with this CPU the 5600X is safe to say that this motherboard can drive it even in the in really hard uh, rendering tasks. Now, if you notice that uh, here, uh, the sensors are uh, quite uh, wrong, since we just checked uh, with the thermal image camera and we don't have 118 degrees. Uh, uh, so uh, this, if you see that when I close the benchmark, uh, the sensor stay more or less that way. So even in idle, uh, this sensor is going to say that we have uh, 120 degrees, but uh, this probably is a BIOS error, since this is a beta version of the BIOS. Okay, now I have the 5800X installed, I'm on idle, and as you can see, the uh, VRM sensors are quite off, since uh, I'm basically doing nothing, and it's like 119 degrees. So, now I'm going to start the benchmark, and we're going to see what happens to the VRM for the temperature, I'm going to use the thermal camera, and we see how the CPU is managing the frequency and the heat, if it's throttling or not. Okay, now it's about 10 minutes that I'm running the test, like before, and I'm going to check uh, with the camera the VRM, if they are cooked or not. It seems fine now. I have uh, 81, 82, 100 degrees. Yeah, so yes, the the worst is 110 degrees. Still safe since uh, those uh, chips are rated to 120, 115, 120 before throttling. And as you can see, the frequency in the screen, uh, everything is fine. Yes, it runs hot, so I wouldn't drive uh, any CPU uh, uh, bigger than this. So this eight core, I think, is is the maximum you can drive with this motherboard safely. Uh, so yes, we have around 110 degrees as a maximum point. I don't know if you can see here in the screen, but 
Yes, it's 110. 110 is fine, since, uh, as I already said, uh, these uh, VRM are made to sustain 110, 115, and some 120. So they are tested for 120. There's nothing wrong to have the VRM that uh, high in temperature, since they are made to do it. All right, we saw once again that this board can successfully run a Ryzen 3, well, the 5600X and the 5800X at least, uh, safely, even with the high demanding multi-trading application. Uh, if you want to run uh, like a 5900X or 5950X with this board, I strongly not uh, recommend you to do it and buy instead a board with a better BRM section. In the next days, you will see a video with uh, a comparison between uh, the older generation of CPU and uh, the Zen 3 in this specific build with application games, a bit of everything. And you can check for yourself if it's worth planning an upgrade or not, because sometimes upgrading is not uh, useful to what you need to do with uh, this specific configuration. Now I'm running a GeForce uh, GTX uh, 1660 Super. And it's a pretty nice card. I can even play World of Warcraft at uh, 1440p, even in ride. So this build is quite capable. And uh, well, the plan was to upgrade it with a 3060 Ti, uh, but uh, well, I had some issue with the order and I'm still waiting, like I think plenty of us right now. But uh, don't worry, I will keep you posted uh, while I'm doing the upgrades and I will keep track of the results. So you, again, you can see if it's worth upgrading a single component or just wait for a complete new build. Because in a system like this, uh, that uh, is not with top uh, high-end components, uh, you may upgrade the GPU, but uh, you have a bottleneck in the CPU, so you end up uh, spending money for nothing. So I will keep track of uh, every single upgrade that I'm going to do, and you can see for yourself what road is best to choose for your upgrade path. And now you know what to do. Like the video if you like it, subscribe for more, and see you in the next one.